Hi everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this super fun and bright owl design. The first step is gonna to be to paint the eyes, and you're gonna to want to put them to the side of the forehead over the eyebrow so the owl is perching nicely on the eyebrow. Don't put them too high up because you want the body to be short and fat, so keep that in mind. I decided to do the eyes first so that the white would stay nice and bright, and I wouldn't have to worry about painting it over any other colors. I finished them off by putting some glitter on top of the white so that they sparkled in the sun, and I decided to keep that the only glitter on the design to help the eyes stand out. Next, I outlined the eyes in Creamy Magenta by Krivelin and a number three round brush. And in my opinion, this color is a must have. It's super bright, super opaque, great for line work. I love, love, love it. And don't forget to add the little ear brow, ear brow? Mm -hmm. No, eyebrow ear things. I don't know what they're called, but they're important. So add them in there. And I wanted to have nice, bright, contrasting colors. So I chose to do a teal for the body and go ahead and just do the outline because we're gonna fill in with lime green. Now, if you don't feel comfortable shading like this and you'd rather use um, a split cake, you're more than welcome to do that. You'll just have to paint the eyes over the color, but you can always use a split cake if you want. So now I'm blending in some lime green and I'm getting all these colors from my rainbow cake. So the only extra color I'm using in this design is the creamy magenta. Everything else I'm just taking right off my rainbow cake. Okay, find the placement to where you want the body. And once again, I'm gonna have this, um, a teal color fading into the green. So I'm just messily placing my teal and then I'm plopping in some green there. You don't have to be very careful because we're gonna blend it. Now to blend this, I just wiped off my brush, added a little bit more teal, and as you can see here, I'm just dragging that teal color into the lime and it gives it a nice natural blend. It is does take a little longer than a split cake to do it that way, so keep it in mind, you might wanna use a split cake. And finally, I'm adding really cute wings in the creamy magenta color so that it matched the eyes and pulled the whole thing together. Now I'm taking some of that neon pink or fluorescent pink from that rainbow cake and just adding really quick dots. If you want to use a stencil in the body, that's a good idea too. And since I had that pink on my brush, I decided to just quickly um, brush some into the top of the wings to add a fast highlight. For the eyes, I wanted to make the pupils really big as well. So just any size you want. I made mine a little bit bigger. And then I put a cute little eyelash on my pupils. And now it's time to outline. I really apologize. I was out of frame for almost all of this, so um, you're not gonna see much of it, but it's just standard outlining. I believe I used a number two brush. Um, try to keep your lines thin so that you don't overwhelm the design. But this is more of a bold look, so you don't have to be too careful with your lines. And finish it off by adding highlights wherever the light would naturally hit. Now it's time to use that uh, bright rainbow cake, and it is so beautiful. This is a Lisa Joy Young exclusive, that's right. And it's one of my favorites, and it's one of the little girl's favorites too. They will go for this cake I, nine times out of 10, they love, love, love this cake. So I get a lot of good use out of this one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place the color around the owl. I did this after I did the owl so that none of the colors interfered. Just be careful not to cover up any of the pretty line work you just did. And press the sponge, don't drag it. Now I'm staring blankly at myself because I have no idea what I was gonna do. Oh my gosh, I cut out a lot of this too. I just stared. I was so lost. It's the worst. Can't think of anything. And I just decided to go ahead and put in some swirls and hopefully it would turn out okay. I wasn't really sure what I was doing at this point. 
Um, but I wanna make sure to frame my owl. So I have some of the swirls touching the owl. As you can see, I'm rounding off my sharp edges inside of that loop. So rounding off the edge there. And just make sure to press and lift. So you have very fine, beautiful points in towards the corner of your eye. Press and lift. You wanna get a good variation of thick to thin. So press and lift and this takes a lot of practice if you're just starting face painting you might get a little frustrated don't worry the more you practice the better you'll get now to add some contrast and brightness to the design i'm putting in some white teardrops just wherever i see space for them and as you can see i'm staying on just the tip of my brush this is going to help keep my um, teardrops nice and small and it's also going to make sure my teardrops all have a very thin point at the end I decided to add some flowers and as you can see I had too much pink on my brush so I went and I got more white on my brush and now the flowers are a lot brighter and prettier and as you can see here for these petals I'm doing a little differently so I'm pressing and pressing again kind of make a heart so each petal is is the shape of a heart and that makes them look a little more interesting makes them look a little bigger so it's good to do some flowers like that and then other flowers with just pressing once to add a variation in your design and put in two little light glare things there for extra cuteness on the eyes and of course she needs to have a flower on her head For the flowers, I decided to do a bunch of little dots instead of just one big dot. So make sure you have nice soupy paint on your brush and that should be pretty easy. And then add dots anywhere else you see fit. Just remember if you do it in one place, try to do it in at least another place to help balance and even out the design. And there you go, that's it. I really hope you guys like this really fun, cute owl. I think it is perfect for summer. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, on, and subscribe, and check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, as well as all the products I used and where you can buy them. I'll see you guys soon in another tutorial.